Hey YouTube, it's Cello Ben, and today is, uh, I think, day 51 of the 100 days of practice. Um, so I've been pretty swamped lately, um, but life is good. But uh, I've had a lot of things on my plate, and one of those things that's about to come onto my plate is a mock audition tomorrow morning. So I'm going to be spending a while this evening making sure I'm as prepared as I can for that. And most of this I'm going to be doing on my own, outside of the uh, YouTube sphere. But today's, uh, this video is going to be sort of a preview of the kind of stuff I'm going to be working on. So this is going to be a little excerpt blitz, I'll call it, where I go through some of the excerpts and hit some of the most important points that I need to work on with them. So we'll start with Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, the, uh, um, the Andante. Um, and right now we're going to focus on the theme. So the main thing that I need, or there are a few things that need attention in there, but one of the main ones is bow control, uh, in, uh, bow distribution. In that bar, I was informed in a lesson that I had a while back that I tend to use too much bow in that bar. And then it's not easy to get, let me see if I can get it so you can see this. kind of skate the bow along in order to get back to the frog route area where I want to be. So instead, I need to make sure to be judici judicious about my use of bow there. Mm, that was still too much. in a good angle. Uh. There we go, that's getting better. Um, and I'm gonna of course hit some stuff in there and also in the, uh, the first two variations later in the evening. Um, Next one is Mendelssohn's Scherzo, two excerpts from the Midsummer Night's Dream Scherzo. Um, so one of the things I struggle with in there is um, the stroke. So that's one thing I need to work on, making sure that it's at a good point in the bow where it can bounce naturally without causing me tension, but where I also have enough control so that even at a tempo like I'm doing, because before I was doing it way too fast and therefore the stroke, I didn't have any control over it and I was just letting it work for me, but it was not musically appropriate. So that's one thing to work on, making sure I'm in the right part of the bow and utilizing my arm and hand properly and all that, all that jazz. <laughs> The other thing is with these super short notes, um, if the intonation is not right on, there's no room for like adjusting it in a split second. It's just there and that's that. So I need to go through it slowly um, with slurs and smooth shifts and all that good stuff to make sure that the intonation is really there and really solid. And the same goes for the second excerpt from that. Um, next is, um, next thing I'm gonna hit in this video is, um, well, the final thing I'm gonna hit in this video, because I'm only gonna do three excerpts in here, even though I have more that I'm doing for tomorrow. Um, the final thing I'm gonna hit in here is Tchaikovsky's Fourth Symphony, the uh, second movement, 
the so that I need to um, 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 I need to work on the shifting and one thing I'm trying to work on nowadays is realizing that I have more time than I think I do in the moment overshot it a little bit But then there's that staccato on that. that goes along with that there's keeping the vibrato loose by making sure that it's coming from the arm and not like a tense hand wiggle and then there's some of course intonation stuff that I have to work on so that's kind of a preview of what's gonna be part of my evening tonight the rest is gonna be occupied with concerto more excerpts etc but I'm gonna sign off for now because I've got a lot of work to do but I'll see you tomorrow have a good night <laughs>